And the smoking? The last time I saw you, you were saying this would be the year. How's that going? Hmm. I've tried to quit on my own a couple of times, but I never make it more than a few days. Well, trying is a really important step. You have the idea in your head, and you're making the effort. And every time you try, you learn a little more. You get a little closer to your goal. I know it can seem daunting, but some additional support can go a long way in making your next attempt the last one. We've talked about this before, but at VA, we have the tools you need to succeed. We can help so that those first few days are as painless as possible. I've just been trying to do it on my own. You know, cold turkey. You are definitely not alone, but that's a hard way to stop. Our approach here at VA, combining counseling and medication, allows you to fight the symptoms of withdrawal and the triggers that can trip you up as you go. Nicotine is highly addictive, as you know, and withdrawing can lead to irritability, insomnia, restlessness, cravings, anxiety, hunger, even depression. That's where the medication comes in, nicotine replacement therapy, like the patch, gum, and lozenges, or prescriptions like bupropion, can help you manage your physical symptoms and cope with the urges. But counseling? I don't know. How does that come in? So it's not just that nicotine is highly addictive. It's also the fact that smoking becomes part of your daily routine. Over time, you can start to associate smoking with certain times of the day, or certain activities, or even certain feelings. When do you really look forward to smoking a cigarette? Definitely first thing in the morning with my coffee after long or stressful meetings, and for sure after eating. Also walking the dog at night. So as you try to cut out cigarettes, these can be the moments, late morning for example, or the taste, like the coffee, that can trigger that urge to have a cigarette. Counseling will give you the skills to identify these moments, these triggers, and then develop strategies for getting through the urges to smoke. It can be one-on-one -on -one or in a group, and there are even options to do it by phone. Whether you're smoking because you're stressed or stressed because you're smoking, we'll find some new outlets and new routines to help you cope. Tell you what, I can refer you to a few counseling options, depending on what works for you. I really do hope you give this a shot. You have the interest in quitting, and we have a proven roadmap to get you there. To explore the benefits of counseling and medication, visit mentalhealth.va.gov quit tobacco.